Okay, we're going to talk about uh, pipeline control examples now. And so I'm going to go through and show you a number of things. And I'm going to ask you whenever I show you a hydraulic gradient or something like that to spend a few minutes thinking about what that shows you. Okay. So don't blurt it out to begin with. Let everybody think about it a little bit. I'll tell you when we get there, and then we'll talk about it. We're kind of moving now from sort of the uh, me instructing standpoint to you beginning to apply some of the knowledge that you gained to actual examples. So just a brief review first. We talked about all these again, so I'm not going to go through. We talked about system curve, hydraulic gradient, on and on. We talked about the pump curve and the systems curve intersecting being the operating point. You've seen this slide before. You've seen this slide before. You've seen this slide before. I'll go slower when we get to some of this. <laughs> You've seen this before. Okay. So here's a little example. We're going along, we're discharging, we're coming out, we're discharging again. So one of the questions is why does the line profile, actually it should be the maximum allowable operating profile, jump up in a couple places? And this is what we talked about before. There's probably thicker wall piping. What's the most logical place to look for optimization in this example? If you were going to use less energy here, where would you look? So spend a few minutes and kind of look at it, give you about a minute or two, and then we can talk about what your thoughts are. So you may not know the exact right answer, but in the troubleshooting process, if I told you, look at this and tell me where you would look first to reduce uh, your power loss, where would you look? After your third pump station. So it's all downhill from there. I mean, basically, it's all downhill. Okay, so you'd look at what? Something here? After the second, I mean, after the last pump. Yeah. Once you get over that yep. that hill right there, okay, you, you're going to run downhill from there. Okay, so why why are you holding this much back pressure here? Is kind of the question you're asking. Because it's this it's, see this is this back pressure is what's causing you to uh, go there. Because if you did weren't holding that much back pressure and only had enough back pressure to get over that last hill, you could come all the way down there, right? Mm -hmm. Or you might be able to drop this down there and do like that. Yeah, so that's the first place you'd look and you'd say, why, you know, maybe there's a good reason for this and maybe there isn't. And so can I reduce this amount of back pressure here so that I'm not throttling out that, uh, that pressure? You could still run at the same flow rate because the slope of these gradients are really what determines your flow rate. Okay, so you've dropped it down. What can you do here if you want to increase your rate? So you want these to get steeper. Take two or three minutes to think about that. So what do you think? <laughs> DRA, the <laughs> Conoco. <laughs> So if you're looking at to increase your rate, you're going to have to, you will have more pressure loss between the pump stations. So can you discharge at a higher pressure here? Yes. Yeah. Can you discharge at a higher pressure here? No. Can you discharge at a higher pressure here? Yeah. So what you might do is you might reduce the, so, so you might increase your pressure here, let this come down a little bit, so you can go up, have a steeper gradient there, then discharge higher here, have a steeper gradient there. Okay. Now, do you have the pump units to do that? Yeah. Don't know, don't know. Yeah. All you're doing here is looking at this, there's a lot of information you don't have, you just kind of look at it and saying, where would I look first? 
And you know the constraint, one of the constraints here is you can't go any higher there with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the big, the first challenge is how do you, without going any higher here, how do you have more pressure loss per mile? So you got to be going into this station with less pressure. Then you can come out of this station with more pressure and you can come out of this station with more pressure. So you might do something like this. Yeah. And you can see between there and there, your gradient is steeper, which showing that you're having more, uh, more rates going through it. Okay. Here's another example. Which of the, the is more viscous, the purple or the yellow? Okay, why do you want to say yellow? Because of the, um, the um, slope. Okay, so this slope, is it more or less than that? Yes. The slope there looks like it's not as steep as the slope here. Oh, true. Yeah. So other way around. Other way around. Yeah, other way around. So this is going to be less viscous that because this has more pressure loss per mile. Okay.